the inspiration for this practice, uh, this this evening, morning, afternoon, whatever the time zone might be, this moment in time, the inspiration comes from a, a quote by Rilke that I will share with you. It's a quote by Rilke. So, so Rilke writes, if your daily life seems poor, do not blame it. Blame yourself. Tell yourself that you are not poet enough to call forth its riches. For the creator, there is no poverty and no poor indifferent place. Ah, oh, that's quite profound. So I'll read it again. And maybe I'll say one thing before I read it again. So the idea of meditation is sometimes we go through our lives like, oh, ho, ho, hum, ho, hum, hum, drum. Um, and our life seems poor. Our life seems poor. And what the invitation is, as, as he's in, inviting us, that it's not so much that it, not to blame our lives, but maybe it's our way of seeing, seeing, or actually our way of not seeing. It's our perception. It's our lack of perception to the riches that are in our life, to the diversity, to the beauty, to the grace, to the opportunities, to so much that there is in our lives. So it's really the, the poverty of our perception. So what he's inviting is what I like to call a poetry of perception. We can use the word gratitude, metta, all of that, but let's make it poetic tonight. Let's mix it up a little bit. So the poetry of perception. Now I like to read the, the quote one more time with that appreciation. So he says, if your daily life seems poor, do not blame it. Blame yourself. Tell yourself, that you are not poet enough to call forth its riches. For to the creator, there is no poverty and no poor indifferent place. So, so again, you know, the, the uh, Buddhist language probably doesn't have blame yourself. So those parts will work you know, we'll kind of like, we'll take out, but just the idea of if the life seems poor, ah, it's about our perception. Per how is our perception? Perceiving the good, perceiving the beauty, perceiving all the poetry, all the music, all the color, all the riches that are available in life. So that would be an invitation, this metta practice in this happy hour. Uh, to, to invite us to open up to that perception. If our life feels poor, even if it doesn't feel poor, let's bring in the sense of appreciation, the, the um, poetry of perception, perception, to perceiving what is good, inclining the mind to what is beautiful, what is wholesome inside and outside. 